Hello hockey fans and welcome back to another video. The 2022 NHL trade deadline was expected to be an eventful affair, and oh boy did it live up to the hype. Whether it was the various cup contenders acquiring the final pieces for their respective playoff runs, or a number of rebuilding teams adding several assets for the future, there was no shortage of movement in the run-up to the March 21st deadline. While most of these trades went off without a hitch, and while each team received the assets that they were expecting, one trade didn't quite turn out that way. In fact, thanks to the primary player involved in the deal, and a certain clause in his contract, a last minute deal between the Anaheim Ducks and the Vegas Golden Knights became the most notable deal of the entire event for all the wrong reasons. So what happened to this trade? Why didn't it go through, and why was it so contentious? Well let's take a look at both the deal itself and the main player involved, and try to figure it out, shall we? So in today's video, join me as we explore the Evgeny Dodonov debacle. Now in order to fully understand this ridiculous situation, let's go back to the very beginning. On October 15th, 2020, Russian forward Evgeny Dodonov, who had spent the past three seasons with the Florida Panthers, and who had scored 182 points in 225 games during that span, signed a three-year, $15 million contract worth an average annual value of $5 million a season with the Ottawa Senators. Though he had just signed the biggest and most expensive contract of his entire career, and though he had reached the 20 goal plateau in each of his prior three seasons, the former third round draft pick would struggle to produce similar scoring numbers with the rebuilding Senators, as the 32 year old potted 13 goals and 20 points in 55 games during the 2021 NHL season. Despite this disappointing performance though, another NHL team would express serious interest in acquiring Dodonov's services shortly after the season concluded. This culminated in Dodonov being traded to the Vegas Golden Knights on July 28th, 2021, in exchange for defenseman Nick Holden and a 2022 third round draft pick. So after spending a lone season in Ottawa, and after failing to find his rhythm with the team, Dodonov was taking his talents to Las Vegas, and joining a perennial championship contender for the foreseeable future. Though this partnership seemed to be the perfect fit for both the player and his new organisation, thanks to his performance on the ice and an unusual controversy off it, Dodonov's debut year in Vegas would be quite the roller coaster ride. The current 21-22 NHL season has seen Dodonov join the Golden Knights roster and look to make a strong first impression for his new team. Though he was expected to return to his career-high numbers of seasons past, since he was now playing alongside a star-studded supporting cast, Dodonov was unable to reach these lofty expectations. That said, the Russian forward has bounced back from his disappointing season with the Senators, and has produced a respectable year for himself, as the 33-year-old has potted 16 goals and 30 points in 63 regular season games at the time of this recording. Despite this resurgence though, Dodonov's $5 million yearly salary, coupled with Vegas's immediate need for cap space, prompted the Golden Knights to make a move. Moments before the 2022 NHL trade deadline on March 21st, Vegas traded Dodonov, along with a 2022 conditional second round pick to the Anaheim Ducks, in exchange for defenseman John Moore and the remainder of Ryan Kessler's contract. Though this trade appeared to be nothing more than a routine deadline deal on the surface, the next few days would prove that it was anything but. Several hours after the deal was made and the 3pm trade deadline had passed, the Vegas Golden Knights released a statement announcing that they had become aware of an issue with the trade and that they had been consulting with the league office in order to rectify the situation. Shortly after this statement, it was revealed that the issue in question surrounded Dodonov's contract and a limited no trade clause included in the deal. When Dodonov signed with the Ottawa Senators back in October of 2020, his three year contract with the team included a limited no trade clause in which the forward could submit a 10 team no trade list. And unfortunately for both Vegas and Anaheim, the Ducks were on that list. Though Dodonov had placed Anaheim on his no trade list, the league's central registry originally marked this trade as a legal transaction. However, since Dodonov had no interest in joining the Ducks, both he and his agent went to the NHL Players Association for help, who subsequently opened a dispute with the NHL regarding the validity of the trade. 
As a result, the deal was put on hold until the league conducted an investigation and reached a decision. Now here's where things get a little sticky. When Dodonov was originally traded to Vegas back in July of 2021, it is rumoured that the Senators failed to disclose Dodonov's no-trade clause to the Golden Knights, meaning that both Vegas and the NHL itself were under the impression that Dodonov could be traded to the Ducks without any issue arising. Not only that, league insider Elliot Friedman claimed that while Ottawa and Vegas both tried to suggest that Dodonov's trade protection had expired or it had been incorrectly filed, therefore voiding the clause, there was documented proof that Dodonov had submitted his no trade list to Ottawa before the July 1st deadline, so the player had done his due diligence and was absolved of any blame since he had followed the correct procedures. Now some of you may be thinking, but odd man rush, isn't a no trade clause voided if a player is moved elsewhere or the clause is waived to allow a specific deal? While this may have been the case in previous years, the current collective bargaining agreement allows players to keep their no trade or no movement clauses after they have been moved. So if Dodonov had placed Anaheim on his no trade list before his move to Vegas, then the clause is still active and he cannot be dealt to the team, meaning that his move to Anaheim should be rendered void and the trade should be cancelled. But why did this whole situation arise? Who is to blame for all of this happening? Well, if you ask me, folks, it's pretty clear that the fault lies with the Vegas Golden Knights. Sure, it's certainly possible that Ottawa forgot to mention Dodonov's no trade clause, and while the Senators could have led Vegas to believe that the clause was no longer active, if a team is looking to acquire a specific player in a trade, the onus is on that team to do the correct research and find out all the relevant information before they acquire said player, including whether he has a limited no trade clause in his contract. After all, it literally takes 30 seconds to check a player's contract on Cap Friendly or Puckpedia. It really isn't that difficult. If you ask me, Vegas had plenty of time and countless opportunities to verify this discrepancy before any deal was made, but ultimately they dropped the ball, so they should receive the blame. Not only that, why didn't the team check in with the player or his agent before the deal to confirm whether there were any clauses in his contract? Surely it's common courtesy to let them know that you plan on trading him elsewhere. Couldn't they have asked if there was anything else they needed to know as well? Given that we are talking about a team that has traded players shortly after acquiring them when a better offer comes around, and given that this is the same team that let their starting goaltender and fan favourite discover that he had been traded via Twitter, it seems as if Vegas are developing a bit of a reputation now. Finally, after several days of deliberation between the NHL and the Players Association, a ruling was finally made. On March 23rd, 2022, the league announced that they had invalidated the deal between Vegas and Anaheim. In their statement revealing their ruling, the league said that the trade, quote, could not be concluded because Dodonov's contract includes a limited no trade clause which has not been complied with. And thus, the trade was cancelled. Seems like the only logical conclusion if you ask me. Now whether you think that the right decision was made, or whether you believe that Dodonov should have gone to Anaheim, I think we can all agree that this entire situation was an absolute mess. After all, how difficult is it to check whether a player has a no trade clause in his contract and which teams are on that list? Not only that, why did the league originally mark this deal as legal? Surely they had the details of Dodonov's contract too, right? Isn't this supposed to be the best hockey league in the world? I've got to be honest here folks, I really feel for Evgeny Dodonov here as he was caught in the middle of all this through no fault of his own. After all, the guy submitted his no trade clause on time and did his due diligence by following the correct procedures. What more can you ask of him? Considering that Dodonov was stuck in limbo for several days and he had no idea whether he was staying in Vegas or moving to the Anaheim Ducks, I imagine that many other players probably would have waived their claws and accepted the trade just to get the whole thing over with. However, Dodonov knew that he had done everything by the book, so he stood up for his rights as a player and refused to forfeit the claws in his contract which he had earned fair and square. So good job Dodonov, justice served. On the flip side, this whole situation also sucks for Anaheim too, as they were expecting to acquire a decent top six scorer and another second round draft pick while they were at it too. It's not their fault this whole situation went down. 
Sure, some of you may argue that Anaheim should have done their research and deserve a portion of the blame, as I did say previously that the onus was on the team acquiring the player to do their homework. However, if Vegas had taken the time to learn that Anaheim was on Dodonov's no trade list, trade talks between the two sides would never have happened in the first place. And besides, Anaheim has no idea which teams are on Dodonov's no trade list, as he isn't their player, so it's none of their business. So once again, this entire situation is all Vegas's fault. However, the one player that gets forgotten in all of this is defenseman John Moore. Not only had he already been traded just a few days prior as part of the Hampus Lindholm deal to Boston, Moore was also stuck in limbo as he had no idea whether he was sticking around in the Ducks organisation or moving a second time to Vegas. The dispute didn't even have anything to do with him. Since Moore has recently been traded to Anaheim and since his deal to Vegas had been rejected, Ducks general manager Pat Verbeek said that Anaheim will quote, welcome more to our organization once he's healthy and ready to return. So at least he's also getting some closure here. So where do things go from here? Well, at the time of this recording, Dodonov has returned to the Golden Knights roster and is expected to remain with the organization until the end of the season, as Vegas released a statement via their Twitter page saying that they recognize the league's decision and they quote, welcome Evgeny back to our club. I can't imagine that Dodonov feels too great about returning to a team that no longer wants him and was willing to drop him as a salary cap dump without a single thought, but maybe that's just me. That said, Dodonov scored a goal and registered three points during his first game post-debacle against the Nashville Predators, so it clearly hasn't affected his on-ice play. And besides, what better way to show your team that they made a mistake in trading you and prove how much they need you right now than by putting the puck in the net and racking up points? Sounds like the Dodonov revenge tour could be well underway, folks. Since Dodonov has remained with the Golden Knights, the forwards cap hit remaining on Vegas' books will lead to some pretty serious salary cap implications moving forwards. After all, by trading Dodonov and by burying John Moore's contract in the minors, Vegas would have cleared nearly $3.4 million of cap space if the deal had gone through, room they desperately need as they have several notable players on injured reserve and LTIR that are expected to return to the lineup in the near future. However, while Vegas may have attempted to imitate Tampa Bay's strategy of keeping several notable expensive roster players out of the lineup until the playoffs, unless Vegas gets some extra help and fast, they might miss the postseason altogether. Since they currently sit third place in the wildcard race in the Western Conference, and since they have played several more games than the other teams above them and below them in the standings, Vegas could fail to punch their ticket to the playoffs for the first time in franchise history. Sure, the lack of salary cap during the playoffs is great and all, but you actually have to make it there in order to enjoy it. Given how this whole ordeal has played out, it's almost certain that Vegas will look to trade to Donov again during the offseason. However, will they be able to fetch a similar price a second time around? Given how desperate Vegas are for cap space, and given that the Golden Knights were more than happy to give up a second rounder in order to offload Dodonov's deal, I wouldn't be surprised if other NHL teams started asking for a first rounder during the offseason. After all, every team knows that Vegas were so desperate to make a deal happen that they were willing to go against a player's no trade clause in order to do so. Whatever leverage they had during the trade deadline has all but vanished. Whether Dadnov plays the rest of his contract with Vegas, or whether he is traded elsewhere during the offseason remains to be seen. But if there is a lesson to be learned from this whole ordeal, it is this. No matter how eager you are to make a trade, and no matter how desperate you may be to free up cap space, make sure you double check whether the player you're looking to move has a no trade clause in his contract. After all, it could come back to bite you a lot sooner than you think. And that was a look at the Evgeny Dodonov debacle. What do you guys think about this unique and unconventional situation? Do you think that the league made the right call by voiding the trade, or do you think that the deal should have gone through? Let me know in the comments below, I would love to hear what you guys think. But thank you very much for watching guys, I hope you have enjoyed. Please feel free to like, subscribe, share, or watch some of my other videos. Thank you very much for watching, and goodbye! A big thank you to Drew Fawcett, Houston NG, and Worthless Pieces for helping support this video via Patreon. If you too want to help support the channel a little bit further and get a shout out at the end of every future video, make sure you head over to patreon.com slash oddmanrush and become a patron today.